Hey folks, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit invoices in bulk. And I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this by using invoices and uploading the modified rows in bulk from my Google Sheets to Xero. So first in the menu bar, locate extensions, scroll down to geoconfig zero, um, find reports, and then report designer and then design accounting reports. You also want to make sure that your Google Sheets is connected to your Xero account. Using the drop down menu, locate and select invoices. And in the date range, feel free to customize this date to whatever you want your report to reflect. And for me, that's going to be the beginning of July. Then in the attributes field, we're going to go ahead and under contact, we're going to select name. And then we're going to select date, due date, invoice ID, which is mandatory, invoice number, line amount types, and under line items, we're going to select account code, description, quantity, unit amount, and then finally status and type. So once your attributes are selected, feel free to go on to the changeable settings in tab two. We're going to deselect create a new sheet because we want our report to be on the same sheet. We're going to select keep original formatting, and then we're going to make sure our retrieve headers and display date range are both selected. Then in the third field, under select a field, find status. Then in the values, find authorize, select, and then press this little plus icon on the right to actually add this filter. Then we're going to go back and this time we're going to select type and then we're going to select ACC or EC. And once again, we're going to add this filter and then tabs four and five, you can just go through them and make sure that you select the filters that you want your report to have. And then we're going to go ahead and execute. So once you have successfully executed, your Google Sheets should look very similar to my screen. So our next step is to add the verbiage updated description to the line item description column. So I'm just going to go ahead and extend this column for us just so I can see what I'm working with. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the verb updated description and I'm going to do this for the rows that I'm going to modify so for me I'm just gonna do the first couple of rows okay so once that verbiage is added we are going to highlight the invoice ID that we want to go ahead and modify so to do so, we're going to go ahead and highlight invoice ID like I just did on my screen. Then in extensions, we're going to find geoconfig zero. And then we're going to select upload accounting data to whatever your organization is. And for me, that's going to be upload accounting data to geocon demo LLC. Okay, so once um, you get to this screen, you're going to make sure that your row selection mode is currently selected. You want your operation to be an update. And again, you want to pay attention to the address of your first header cell, which is a two for me, and the results are going to be in column M. So once you have checked all of the things in the first tab, we're going to go ahead and click this uh, little um, refresh button and what this is going to do is map my fields in Xero to the column in my spreadsheet. So the structure will also map the headers from our sheets to Xero automatically. Then I'm going to move on to tab two and I'm going to go through my fields in Xero and make sure everything there is um, correct. Then in my column mappings, I want to make sure to select all of these, all of the columns we have in our spreadsheet and to coordinate them in the fields like zero. And then in tab three, again, you can refresh, uh, select your refresh frequency. And then we're going to go ahead, execute and save. And then as you can see, um, if you slide right, all of the data has been updated in column M. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and open your template um, 
or sorry, your next step is to go ahead and find, uh, click the hyperlink and go to your Xero account, which you can see the data has been transferred to Xero. And then you can just go ahead and open your template and change your currently selected rows to all or new rows. And that's kind of the final step in this process. And after those uh, steps, this new template is ready for you to use when you want to modify your invoices in full. Thanks for sticking around and don't forget to stick around for new upcoming videos.